What's up guys, Chris here. Today we're gonna to be looking at what I ride with on every single ride pretty much, what's in my pack and what bike am I on. And hopefully it'll give you guys an idea of what to bring on your next ride. As well, comment below if I'm missing anything you think I should have or if you carry any of the same kooky things I do. All right, let's get to it. Can use this uh, round hay bale here as a, a nice sturdy tripod. Times like this, I wish the Sony a6300 had a flip screen so I could actually see if I'm in the picture. <clears throat> so first up, my helmet I ride with is the Bontrager Rally from 2020. This is the non-wave cell version, so it has MIPS inside of it. So that's that little control box thing which allows your head to move separately from the helmet in a crash, reducing injury by something like 20%. I don't know, it was a comfy helmet, has the BOA dial on the back so it's really easy to adjust. A standard clip to it, none of that vidlock magnet stuff. Um, I just thought it felt good, it fits good. This was in a medium as well. I found Bontrega changed the sizing a little bit. I used to always have to fit a large and then the shell would look huge. So they've definitely changed up the, the interior design of it a little bit to make it a little wider fitting. Um, so with the 2020 model and 2021s, I am in a medium as opposed to the large. The headphones I ride with are the Aftershocks Air. Um, they're called the Trex Air. I don't like that. I think it's a stupid name, but whatever. These are the bone conduction ones. We'll do a bit more of a review on them, but they fit in front of your ears so I can still hear everyone else who's riding with me or the surroundings. If I'm in town going for a run, I can get some peripheral sound of traffic coming up behind me. They're pretty comfy, the solid sound to it. I mean, you know, high-end in-ear headphone or over-the-ear headphone, but they work really, really well. The pack I'm riding with is a few years old now. It's just a basic Dekine pack. Has a two liter pouch to it, um, and that is the Hydra pack one. So a nice bite valve there. It works well. The shoe I ride with is the Bontrager Flatline. I like these shoes a lot. They are a very stiff soled shoe, but not in an uncomfy way. They have the Vibram sole and have taken up to, this is our third year on them, and they barely have any damage, super durable. They have more protection over the toe area. They're pretty much a waterproof design, but still pretty breathable on the side here and top. So like even during muddy wet conditions, I can get away with staying pretty dry in these. They are a shoelace, and then they just have an elastic band here to uh, support them there so they're not dangling around. The gloves I wear are a Bontrager as well. A lot of Bontrager here. They make good quality stuff at solid pricing. Uh, this one I like because the outer edge of it is uh, more durable. So it's like a thicker material over my top outside knuckles where the black is, but then super lightweight, breathable on the red. Kind of the suede interior, so it's nice and durable. Again, these have lasted me a season and a half now, and they, they look pretty good. I do have a bit of a rip coming through on this side, oh, and, and, and on thumb, but they've done well for how much of a beating they take, especially on the exterior of the glove. So I keep an extra Ziploc bag in here, whether I put my phone in here, garbage, or anything. It's kind of nice to have just an extra storage compartment. I also keep some waterproof matches and some easy fire start materials. This time of year, it's not too bad. Um, during peak mosquito season, it's actually really nice to have these. At the end of the ride, you can set up a fire and um, actually get it going pretty quickly. Get a bit of smoke up and keep the mosquitoes out while you hang out in the parking lot after a ride. Um, come winter, if I do some winter rides, it's also nice to make a fire and just relax. Um, at the end of the ride or halfway through it. I do keep a little medical kit, which has a bunch of band-aids in it, stair strips, hand sanitizer, um, electrical tape, as well as some Tylenol I think is in there. Oh, there's the Tylenol. Just in case, you never know, on the bigger rides, it's always handy to have. I have an extra set of matches apparently. I think they came in a big bulk bag. And that's what I keep in the front compartment. In the top compartment, I keep my cell phone and potentially keys in there. I'm gonna try not to so they don't scratch it up. Obviously, you've got your hydro pack, water pack here. Um, 
I vary how much I fill it. You know, some rides I fill it full, some I don't. Um, I keep some baby wipes. Uh, these help keep the poison ivy off. Plus, they're also great in case you need a little bit of a, you know, mid-ride stop. As well, a bit of scrap newspaper here, and that just helps get fires going if needed. As well, at the bottom of the pack, I keep a really cheap multi-tool, which just has a lot of really tools on it. Falls to pieces all the time, but it's pretty bulky, and it has almost every tool I need on it, including a chain breaker. I think I just got this one cheap from Walmart or something like that. Likewise, I am still on the Remedy 9.8 from 2019. This bike has done really well. I ride it with the Shimano Saint pedals on the flats. Um, I prefer over clipping in, even for the cross country stuff. This has the GX part spec, so that's a full spec on shifting with the 1x12. And it has the RockShox Reactive through shaft with debonair and the piggyback shock which is really awesome i've never flipped the flip trip on this model but it does have it as well it has a really nice rock shocks lyric on here with debonair which has worked out really well the guide rs four piston brakes are fantastic along with the carbon handlebar carbon wheels and carbon frame make this for a relatively lightweight 160 150 mil travel bike so for riding gear i'm normally in some sort of long sleeve jersey i prefer those they keep the bugs off again poison ivy we have a lot of out here so it just keeps me a little more protected both right now i'm wearing is sombrio gear they have lifetime warranty on the gear which is really awesome it's durable it lasts it looks good and I track most of my rides with the Samsung Gear S3 Frontier Edition. This watch is about three years old now, and it was probably two years old when I bought it. But it seems to work really well. It keeps track of all my rides. I do not use the Strava app on it because it always crashes. But we'll maybe do a bigger review on that too someday soon. All right, guys. So that is what I currently ride with in my pack and the ride gear I normally use. Let me know what you carry in your pack below. And if I should carry anything else or if you think something in there is odd, um, like, comment, and subscribe if you're kind of into any of this kind of stuff. Hopefully, I'll be able to update you next year with a new setup of gear. If anyone's interested in the bike, it is up for grab and it is on for a smoking good deal as it's gonna be a demo bike which comes with full warranty. So if someone wants to pay the shipping, I know there's a bike shortage, we'll get it to you. All right, let's go ride. Disappointing, this is a nice trail. <laughs> <laughs> 